Hey everybody, Rob here from Prior Studios and welcome to this third quick tip video. Now this one's going to be a, another very quick kind of two minute job and I want to talk about duplicating. So we all know that you have cloner objects and things like that that you can use to duplicate your geometry. And I'm sure you're aware that you can come in to a object uh, and in edge or polygon mode um, you can grab things and you can run extrusions using the D key or the extrude tool. Now what I've got here is just a set of steps. Uh, these actually started out life as a cloner object and I made the editable so I now have my five steps inside. So let's just take this step here and the steps are really simple objects. They're made of the actual step itself which is kind of a curved L shape and a little tread plate which would be the kind of metal plate that you see across the top to stop people slipping on wet surfaces. Okay so I want to take this step and I want to duplicate it. I want to actually have six steps here. Now I could go in and I could cut and paste and that would work fine. Let's just show you. So cut and paste and now I have a, another step so I can bring that forward and then I could lift it up. So let's bring that up there like so and just line that up a bit better. What I can also do is I could take this new step, let's just call this step five, and I'm gonna bring it down into the hierarchy with the others so they stay in order. I can control click and drag, which does the same kind of thing. Let's just drop that in the right place. I'll rename that one to six. And you can see I have this now. And I can knock it up into position, same as I did with the last example. Now you can also do the same thing within your viewports. I mean, it works in all four viewports, but I'm just going to hold down control, click and drag and just lift that one up as well to match my other ones. Now this is, I'm not lining these up very well. Uh, if you turn on quantize like I showed in the last quick tip video, that will work much better. Now this control clicking and dragging works really well and it's a fantastic tool. It doesn't just work on objects. So I could come in here and I could take this step and I could take that back edge there and I control click and drag and that gives me a new edge. I'll just come around this way so you can see the edges a bit clearer. So control click and drag, control click and drag. This works not only on edges but I could come into polygon mode and I could control click and drag and that has done pretty much the same as if I, let's just take this one and hit D if I run the extrude tool. Uh, if I just swap around and look underneath, you'll see that they've both got kind of end caps here and they both have a, a kind of a hollow volume to them. And that's because they've done the same thing. Now, I don't really want that, that's fine. So I'm just going to get rid of that. What's more interesting is that these commands don't just work on your geometry. So let's just take these steps and I'm just going to open up my timeline controls a minute. I'm going to add a keyframe. I'm just going to go forward and a second. Just move that over there and add another keyframe. So if I just run this through, let's just go to, uh, we'll leave it there. Let's just hit play so you can see we have a, the most basic of animations. Now, let's just move it back. So let's go to frame 45 and then we'll take this keyframe and rather than kind of trying to go into object mode and copy all this details here and put it back to the center point, we might not start at world zero, zero, zero. So you'd have to actually be able to copy this information and paste it back so that the stairs move to the right and then to the left. What we can do is we can control click and drag on that keyframe to the frame we want it. And now if we press play from the start, it'll move across and it'll move back. So you can do that here in our, our little scrubber timeline there. You can also do it over in our main timeline. So we could go, you know, at frame 75, we wanted to go back over to the right. So select those keyframes, control click and drag. And there we have it. Let's move that out the way again, go back to the start, play, and then we'll go back and then over to the right again. So if you're doing kind of repetitive motions or you need to kind of make sure that something animates back to exactly the same point, that will work perfectly. And you can do that in your curves view as well. You can take keyframes and we could take these two and we could just control click and drag, not like that, and move them across. 
come back to our main view. And we have all that kind of stuff done there. Um, again, if we have a material and we want to create a copy of it, so we might have a plastic shader set up really nicely, a plastic material. If we want another plastic material, but maybe a different color, just control click and drag the, the one you've got like so and now we have two identical and all you need to do then is come in and just change the color of the second one and all the other shader attributes will stay exactly the same so you can come in here make that one red and we have two that are exactly the same except for the the overall color and this works for just about everything in cinema 4d you can have cameras we could have a camera here uh, we could duplicate it so we could want to look through the view in this one and then have another one which is very close to it um, so we could duplicate, look through the next one, and then, you know, you just change that view. Uh, if I drop that view as well, you can now see if I back out, we have those two cameras. Lights again, works perfect for your lights. So set up things like your shadow color, um, your depth of field, uh, sorry, your, um, the color of the lights, the fall off distance, all that kind of stuff. And then you can control click and drag to make the duplicate. So that's been a quick tip video on creating duplicates inside Cinema 4D. I'll be back early next week with another quick tip video. Hope you're enjoying them. If there's something that you think it would be worth sharing, let me know and I'll see if I can do a video on that one too. Thanks very much. I'll see you all next week. Bye.